behind you. I'm behind you. I am right. Don't be scared. I just want to play a game with you. Welcome, Nestle 2000. The night has deepened in Brookhaven. The atmosphere in the mansion is heavy with secrets, and every ticking second echoes with anticipation. Amidst the grandeur of the mansion, Lisa walks the dimly lit corridors, her heart heavy with the weight of deceit. Suddenly, a soft meowing breaks the silence. Lisa turns to find a graceful, sleek cat with piercing blue eyes. What catches her attention more than its beauty is the intricately designed collar around its neck, adorned with symbols. What are you doing here, little one? Want me to follow you? All right, lead the way. The cat weaves through the corridors, guiding her deeper into the mansion's heart. Along the way, the soft glow of moonlight filtering through the windows illuminates mysterious, dusty old paintings. But it's one particular portrait that stops Lisa in her tracks. Hidden away in a secluded corner, draped partially by an old curtain, is a portrait of a lady. The resemblance to Lisa is uncanny. The same eyes, the same posture. The lady wears a pendant that looks exactly like the symbols on the cat's collar. Is that me? Looking closer, she notices the small inscription at the bottom of the painting. Trust the heart, not the wealth. That's the key. She takes a deep breath, processing the gravity of the message. With newfound determination, she leaves the portrait, holding onto the message as her guiding star. The walls of Brookhaven whisper tales of old, and sometimes, if you listen closely, they offer guidance to those in need. For Lisa, a forgotten portrait might just hold the answer she seeks. As morning light filters through the mansion's grand windows, Lisa stands in the main hall, determination in her eyes. The events of the previous night replay in her mind as she devises a plan to test the intentions of Sophia and Wonka. If there's a way to see game. their true colors, it's now. Lisa, are you alright? You look... troubled. Sophia, I stumbled upon something last night. I think I found a map that leads to Brookhaven's treasure. Really? Where did you find it? In one of those forbidden rooms. It's well hidden, but I think I can cipher it. Before Sophia can respond, Wonka enters the hall, overhearing the last part of the conversation. A map, you say? Yes. It seemed to hold the key to the Brookhaven fortune, but it's cryptic. I might need some help figuring it out. Wonka's eyes gleam with greed, but he masks it with feigned concern. My dear, we must be very careful. There are those who would want to misuse such information. Like whom? I'm just stating facts. We need to protect Lisa. Protect or control? Sophia looks at Lisa, admiration in her eyes for her boldness. Always question everything, Lisa. Especially when treasures are involved. We can discuss this further. For now, let's make sure this map is safe. I've already secured it. And only I will decide the next steps. The tension in the room is palpable. Wonka's face is a mask of concealed irritation, while Sophia's eyes are filled with respect for Lisa's newfound assertiveness. In the chess game of trust and deceit, Lisa makes a bold move. With stakes this high, every step is fraught with danger and intrigue. In the ornate library of the mansion, Lisa sits on a couch, lost in thought. The soft footsteps of Sophia break the silence. Lisa, may I join you? Of course, but I thought after our last conversation... <sighs> That's what I wanted to talk about. When I first heard about the treasure and your legacy, I admit I saw it as an opportunity for my own gain. The thought of such wealth was... tempting. As I got to know you, I realized there was something more valuable than any treasure. Genuine connection, trust, friendship. You're young, but there's a strength in you that I admire. I was so confused, Sophia. I didn't know who to trust, and I still fear making the wrong choice. I don't blame you, but from now on, I promise to be there for you. 
not because of the treasure or the mansion, but because you deserve someone who genuinely cares. Thank you, Sophia. It means a lot to hear that. They share a moment of understanding, the barriers between them breaking down. In the maze of secrets and deceit, a genuine bond forms. Sometimes the heart sees what's invisible to the eye. As the weight of Sophia's confession settles, the two women stand united, ready to face the challenges ahead. What's in here? She gently pushes the door open, revealing Wonka's private study. An imposing wooden desk dominates the room, papers scattered all over, and shelves filled with old books lining the walls. Lisa cautiously steps in, her gaze settling on an open ledger. She picks it up, skimming through its content. Loans overdue. Property on the verge of repossession. That's mounting... Oh my! She then notices a pile of letters tied with a red ribbon, discreetly tucked beneath other papers. Unraveling the ribbon, she pulls out the topmost letter. Your final notice. If the debt isn't settled by the month's end, actions will be taken. Her eyes dart to another letter, this one with an elaborate seal. She unfolds it, recognizing it as an eviction notice. With every unveiled document, the true nature of Wonka's desperation becomes clear. So this is why he was so eager about the treasure. To save his own skin and reputation in Brookhaven. We need to find that document if Lisa or Sophia sees it. Someone's coming. She quickly tidies the desk, putting everything back in place, and hides behind... Can you see me? I'm here. Behind you, look. Mr. Wonka, did you think you can deceive me forever? Lisa, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. We you found your study dummy. in those eviction notices. This isn't just about some treasure hunt. This is about your survival in Brookhaven. You invaded my privacy. What right do you have? The right of the rightful heir to this mansion. It's time for answer, Mr. Wonka. No more lies. Wonka, eyes darting around the room, assesses his chances of escape. But before he can make a move, Sophia takes out a key and dramatically locks the mansion's main gate. I'm now, now, Mr. Wonka, we wouldn't want any interruptions, would we? This is madness. No. This is the truth, catching up to you. Why did you hide all of this from me? I thought if I could find the treasure, everything would go back to how it was. I didn't plan on deceiving you initially, but when I got to know about the treasure, my desperation took over. Oh, how touching. A man driven by greed and desperation. I thought you cared, Wonka. I thought there was a genuine connection, but it seems everything was just a facade. I did care, Lisa, but the pressure, the looming debts, they changed me. In a mansion filled with riches and secrets, truth becomes the most precious commodity. The confrontation reveals more than just intentions. It lays bare the very souls of its participants. The tension in the room remains palpable. Wonka, looking defeated and aged, musters up the courage to speak. He clears his throat, casting a glance at Lisa, whose eyes are demanding answers. Lisa, there's so much I need to tell you. I knew about your lineage long before Madame Luna hinted at it. What do you mean? This mansion, it belonged to your ancestors, the Brookhaven founders. Your great-grandmother, Lady Catherine, was the heart of Brookhaven, and she left everything to your family. And let me guess, you were just the caretaker. Yes, when your parents passed, I took over the administration. The plan was to preserve it until you came of age. But the responsibilities and debts overwhelmed me. The mansion's upkeep, the town's expectations. I started believing that the mansion was mine. So, you hid my past from me? Denied my heritage? In my desperation, I thought I'd find the treasure and pay off the debts before you ever found out. But when Madame Luna spoke to you, uh, I panicked. Adopting you was a rash decision to keep you close and in the dark. 
How could you play with someone's life like this? My entire life, I felt like something was missing. This was it. My history. My... I'm so sorry, Lisa. I lost sight of what was right. Secrets, when unearthed, can be both painful and liberating. Wonka's confession peeled back layers of deception, revealing raw wounds of betrayal. Lisa, her eyes misty, takes a deep breath, absorbing the... Wonka, you let greed blind you, but I think it's time to start a new... I'll do anything to make amends. With a newfound determination, Lisa opens the grand doors of the mansion. The first rays of morning sunlight breaking through the storm clouds, casting a soft glow on the this roof. Mansion. It's not just my legacy, it's Brookhaven's legacy, and its doors should always be open for its people. You're making the right choice, Lisa. Wonka hesitantly steps forward, offering the mansion's keys to Lisa, who takes them gracefully. Together, we will restore Brookhaven's glory and ensure its treasures benefit all its residents. Together. Wonka, now with a face of relief, nods appreciatively. He looks towards Sophia, who also nods, her eyes speaking of forgiveness and hope. And as the Brookhaven Mansion's doors swing open to welcome the hopeful townspeople, it signifies more than just a physical unison. It marks the blending of past truths with present reconciliations and the hope of a harmonious future.